All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can duplicate objects along a curve and then give you an example of what this would be used for. We're going to start off very basic. All right, as you can see, I'm using Blender version 2.82a, but the same methodology works with pretty much every version of Blender that I am aware of. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now, first thing we're going to do is just go through the process with something extremely simple. I'm just going to add a mesh and I'm just going to go ahead and use the monkey head. Why not? I like the monkey head. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press 7 to go on the top side view and I'm going to press 5 to go into orthographic view. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to add a curve. And the curve I prefer to use is a path. I think it's just much easier to work with. All right, now that we have the path added, I, with it selected, I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode. And then I'm just going to select the vertice on the end. And then I'm gonna press the letter E for extrude. And then bring the mouse out to there and then left click the drop. E for extrude and just bring it to wherever I want you don't yours don't have to be like this and then left click the drop and I'm just creating a curvy shape that's all I'm doing E for extrude left click the drop E for extrude left click the drop E for extrude left click the drop all right now I'm going to press tab to exit edit mode and see we got this nice little curve all right now select the monkey head come over here to the modifiers tab add modifier choose array and then what we want to do we want to add another modifier add modifier choose curve and then down here in this curve modifier right here add the NURBS path that's this path right here now come up here to the array modifier and on, on the count just adjust that up so you can see the monkey head following the curve now all right now that's the basics of how it's done now what would this be used for I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this gonna go ahead and delete the monkey head and I'm going to go ahead and delete this path that way we can redo it all now let's make something a little bit more practical in this case we're gonna make a wall and this is gonna be like a, a concrete block wall all right I'm gonna press 7 to go on the top view and I'm going to add a plane and this is what we're gonna create the concrete wall or the individual blocks out of all right now I'm going to go ahead and scale this on the x-axis let me click on item and then change this from 2 to 3 alright now I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode and I'm going to choose the loop cut over here I'm going to put just click right here to add a loop cut there and then down here change this to 2 that way it puts two loop cuts instead and then over on the edge on that edge click to add a loop cut now I can close this and turn off my loop cut tool now choose face select and we could sort of see the shape of a block forming or two blocks actually right here up like that right kind of like a Tetris piece now go ahead and select this piece and then shift select this piece excuse me and then press delete and choose faces now now you can actually see the shape better now go ahead and press tab to exit edit mode and we want to add a modifier add modifier and choose solidify and then change this to one now it looks a lot more like a block and then click apply now if we let's go ahead and 
rotate this on the x-axis. So if we look at it for front view, then it's laying flat. So rotate x 90, enter. Now if we look at it from the top, you can see this, the origin point is right here. Let's go ahead and adjust the origin point and put it in the center of this block. So come up here to object, set origin, and origin to geometry. And it basically just moves the center of mass to the center of the block. Now just to make this a little bit more centered, let's go ahead and move this block to the center of the scene. So press Shift S, Shift S, and choose Selection to Cursor. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Put this on Edge Select. We're going to bevel these edges. Select this uh, edge and then Shift Select and select all these edges going around like this. All right, and also choose this one right here. Turn the block around and do the same thing on this side. Shift and then select. And of course, mine is set up for right click to select. Yours could be set up for left click to select. And then make sure you select this one also. Now, with all those selected, just make go real quick and make sure you have them all selected. And then press Control B, the letter B, and then just drag this out to about there. Now change this with your mouse wheel. Scroll up once. That way you have two cuts instead of just one. All right. And you know you have two cuts because if you look right here, it's one, two, three, essentially. Well, it could be three cuts, depending on how you look at it. But anyway, it's not just, you know, highlight it going all the way directly across with no line in the middle. You want the line in the middle right there. All right. Now, select this line in the middle on that side. And shift select this line in the middle on this side. And then we want to bring these in a little bit so just press S for scale and then Y for the Y axis and then just bring it in just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect just as long as it's in a little bit and that looks about right. Just a hair is all you need. Go ahead and press tab to exit edit mode and this is our basic block. Now what we want to do go ahead and put it on Let's let's go ahead and create the path at this point. I'm going to put it in top view for creating the path and add curve and then path. And you can see the path show up right here. So press tab to go into edit mode and select the end vertice on this path and then E for extrude, left click to drop, E for extrude, left click to drop. E for extrude, left click to drop. E for extrude, left click to drop. And of course, just make this whatever shape you want. You can make it as long as you want as well. But that's going to be good enough for this tutorial. So I'm going to press tab to exit edit mode. All right. Now I'm going to select my concrete block. I'm going to press 1 to go on the front side of view. Now we want our wall to be more than just two blocks high. So we're going to add a modifier. Add modifier and choose array. Now we want the blocks to go vertically not horizontally at this point. So we're going to change this one from change 1 to 0 on this one and then right here make that 1. Alright now that makes sense it looks more like it's supposed to. And now let's adjust this let's say we want it 8 blocks high. Alright now we want to also expand you know create an array of this going to the right so let's add another array and it went the correct direction but it went too far now I want you to think about something right here we could eyeball it you know adjust pardon me wrong one we could adjust the distance on this right here until it's merged right up against it 
or we could just do a little bit of math. See, this is like one block, two blocks, three blocks. See what I mean? One, two, three. That's like the width of each one. So, with uh, this right here in mind, we want this to be two blocks over, or this new one to be two blocks further over. So we could just have Blender do some math for us, which could be one divided by three, and then times two. I hope that math made sense. I'm, I'm terrible at explaining math, but it's a fairly simple idea, I guess. Um, but basically all I did was move the block over two-thirds of the size of or two-thirds the width of this first set of blocks. I hope I'm making sense otherwise I'm probably just confusing you. But anyway, you probably understand that. Most people are way smarter than me. Alright, now let's just uh, at this point go ahead and to top side view so we can see it better and we need to add one more modifier come up here add modifier and choose curve and then down here at the very bottom add this curve which is news path right here now if we was to come up here to this one which is the one that controls it horizontally and if we add a higher count then it will start building that wall around that path and it does so so nicely and so easily now I want to show you something that makes this really really handy go ahead and press 7 to go on the top side of view and press tab pardon me select the noobs path and then press tab alright now you can uh, select one of these vertices and if you press grab you see you can adjust the shape of your wall in real time so that that comes real handy now I'm going to go ahead and just for fun add mesh and then a ground this is all we're doing right here is just adding a ground and this light right here your scene probably already has a light I'm going to move it about right there and move it up and now if um, we was to put this in render view of course I'm going to turn off my uh, world light so all the pink goes away now as you can see it looks a lot like a wall but it's it's not textured there's no color to it so let's go ahead and add a little bit of color and a little bit of texture so up here in the top right corner left click and drag down to open up a new window and then change this to shader editor make sure you have the wall selected and then in the materials tab down here click new now you have nodes pop up up here and then make this kind of a dark gray because concrete blocks are kind of a dark gray now we want to give it quite a bit of roughness because it's concrete it's going to be kind of rough we we don't want it to be reflective is essentially what we're doing now I'm going to add a couple of nodes right here Let's go to add and then search because I never can remember where a lot of these are located and type in bump and then choose the bump node and then add that go normal to normal and then we want to add a texture a noise texture at this point add come down here to texture and choose noise texture and we're gonna add the uh, factor to the height now that's awfully aggressive and awfully rough that that would kind of work maybe if you was building stone 
but we're building con a concrete block wall. So let's go ahead and turn this scale up. See what happens when you turn the scale up. The details get smaller and smaller and smaller. And it, in my opinion, for a concrete wall, about 150 is about right. Or at least it is for this scale of an object. So if we zoom in, we could see that it's the roughness is similar to how you would expect a concrete wall to look. And then right here on strength, we can use this to adjust how aggressive that bump is. And usually about 0.25 is about right in my opinion. Maybe 0.3. All right, and that's pretty much it. And for, of course you can go over here to the modifiers tab and if you leave all of these modifiers up and running, meaning you don't apply them, you can go into edit mode on the noobs path and, you know, make adjustments to the shape of your wall if you want to. But of course, if you have it the way you want it and you know for a fact you, you don't want to make any changes, then of course you can select your wall and then apply all of these starting from the top and then apply them as they go down apply 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 and now your wall is just literally an object you can't adjust it at this point other than materials I guess that's it if you have any questions let me know later people